Hi everybody, it's Ellen Jaffe Jones and I did a video not all that long ago about how I was all depressed because I was diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis, which if you believe everything you read on the internet and Google, uh, my life was about to end. I would be lucky to be walking in a year's time, let alone running. And for those of you who follow me, you know, uh, by now I am up to 143 5K age group awards uh, since 2006, just on plants. So when I got this diagnosis, which I was like confounded, like how could this be? I run around the country giving talks about my six books saying vegans generally don't get arthritis and that's why I won so many age group awards is because we don't get arthritis, which generally is true. However, it, the exception is if it's genetic. So the good news is the four people in my immediate family who were diagnosed with uh, inflammatory arthritis and because it was so long ago with my father, I'm not sure that he had the actual diagnosis of psoriatic arthritis, but based on what I now know, I'm pretty sure that's what it was because it was the end of his fingers that were just all gnarled and his toes were the same and it was amazing he could even walk, let alone play tennis, which he did through his 80s and then died in his 90s. So other than that, he had a great life. Um, oh, except that he had heart disease, diabetes, um, the diseases of affluence that came from not being, uh, as we were in those times, not educated about how a plant-based diet could, could really help all those things. So, and as you know, mom and both sisters had breast cancer, and that's a whole nother path I walked down in videos and, and everything else. But, so this diagnosis of psoriatic arthritis got me to Dr. Brooke Goldner, who wrote a book called Goodbye Lupus, which is also an autoimmune disease. And the point I was trying to make before is that my diagnosis of this autoimmune disease came 30 to 40 years after the other four relatives in my family who got this same disease. And it starts out as psoriasis and in a third of all cases, becomes uh, lodged in the joints. And on Facebook, if you follow me there, I did before and after pictures. Now, I can't really show you before pictures, but this is certainly the after. My palms are completely clear. They were all fiery red, cracked and bleeding right in here. My fingers, um, you can still see a little bit of the uh, remaining residual inflammation there that was but is not any longer because I actually uh, was waiting six months to get into a rheumatologist and when I did finally because I had done the protocol that Dr. Goldner recommended which is what I'm going to show you right now um, she said why are you even here <laughs> you have no sign of inflammation in your body and she pressed all my joints with her fingers and you know, nothing. So she, uh, after two dermatologists determined that I had psoriatic arthritis based on what was going on in my palms, um, then, you know, I, I went to the rheumatologist because my, my primary doctor said, you should have this biopsy because there are different kinds of psoriatic arthritis. And if they give you the wrong medicine, then it can make the symptoms worse. I'm going like, ooh. And I really didn't want to go on medicine. Really didn't want to. So I did a one hour consultation with Dr. Goldner in addition to reading her two books. And by the way, she was told she wouldn't make it to 20 and she's now 40 uh, with two kids. So she's working, doing some amazing work, uh, really helping people with their autoimmune issues. So this is basically the protocol and I wanted to show you, oh, the other thing that was happening with my fingernails, I wanted to show you. My fingernails have never looked healthier after following Dr. Goldner's protocol. So they were starting to separate from the nail beds. And I would have, instead of a white line here, it would be a jagged white line. And with a matter of weeks after doing these smoothies every single day, voila, the fingernails went back to normal. Now you know how long it takes for a fingernail to grow out, right? But this just really reversed itself, as did my palms. And you can still go on my Facebook page and see what my palms look like before. So, um, you know, so glad that I caught this in the beginning. And, you know, I thought I was a, being a healthy vegan. And generally I was, except that as I was increasing my speaking engagements and being on the lecture circuit, the only problem was uh, I was eating a lot of Cliff Bars and Laura Bars and not eating enough vegetables, you know? 
Um, so while you travel is doing all this calculating and figuring out, are we eating five vegetables a day? Are we eating three fruits a day? And as a result of eating you know, the processed foods, not eating foods in their natural states, not eating a whole foods, plant-based diet. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Dr. Goldner recommends a, at least for somebody like me, Oh, where did my measuring cup go? Okay, oh, it's hiding underneath here all the time. So um, a fourth to a half cup of flax seeds. So those are in the bottom here, and I'm down to a fourth. I was doing a half. Uh, also with chia seeds too, you can do a combination, but it really made the smoothie kind of sticky and glutinous and um, uh, not glutinous, I guess the right word would be more like uh, like a pudding. And you know, I was just getting tired of the texture. So uh, I, what I do is grind the flax seeds fresh every day. So there's a fourth cup in there. And then she says, fill the blender, the 64 ounce blender, whatever it is, to the top with green. So I'm using spinach today, but kale is probably her number one choice, I'm thinking. And then we're gonna throw in some blueberries because they help you from getting, you know, help prevent Alzheimer's, according to Dr. Greger, and lots of others. And, oh yeah, there's lots of Alzheimer's in my family of origin as well. And then I like to use frozen bananas and, um, Dr. Golden says, basically, it's kind of the old Mary Poppins thing. A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. So use as much fruit as you can to make those greens go down. Now, spinach I don't find as tough as kale. So uh, I'll put two bananas in here. And this will last me the better part of certainly the day. And that's what she would recommend is, is do this uh, as much as you can every day. Um, a whole a whole blender full. So I have a brand new container of, of uh, almond milk. And again, as much as it takes to get all this blended. I also will add some water as well to this, just so I'm not using a whole container of this on a daily basis. So I'll take it off here, run to go get some water and ice. old-fashioned refrigerators and uh, it doesn't handle glasses very well um, in the ice container part, the ice maker part. Uh, also you can add some pineapples. Generally I don't because the pineapples are so sweet and when you've cleaned up your diet things like pineapples taste super sweet. And the reason I'm opening these, I actually got these, we, we just did the Tampa Veg Fest this past weekend and um, I made a smoothie similar to what, uh, well, it was a recipe from my book, Vegan for One, but it's pretty similar to the kinds of recipes that Dr. Goldner recommends in her book. And um, so I had some food left over that I bought for myself, or I should say I bought, I paid out of pocket for the food, so we didn't use all of it. But I'm gonna add a few more blueberries and we've got the banana in there. I also bought a new blend tech because my own Vitamix, um, you know, just the vinegar wasn't taken off the stuff up from the sides. And um, I also read a lot about the whole blend tech Vitamix horrors that um, blend tech was successful in a copyright lawsuit against Vitamix. So that's a whole nother story, but interesting to read all about that. You might want to do it. So it was funny at the, at the food demo and we had, the Veg Fest, they think, may have been the biggest in Florida, and we have been getting pretty big. So uh, I haven't even heard the final numbers yet, but um, maybe around 10,000. That's just a, a wild guess on my part, maybe a lot more than that. We had a new venue this year because the old one we couldn't use anymore. And um, the cooking demos were just overflowing to capacity. So um, what I found is I had to, you know, you have to use gloves, and with this new digital front here, if you can see that, it's all very slick and smooth. And so I was using frozen bananas and all this uh, slime from the bananas got on the front of the uh, control panel. So it was a little challenging to keep, you know, making it uh, turn and adjust the different controls. But here we go, pretty easy right now today. And it says, you know, I keep getting this error. I just uh, X out of it 
and um, we'll go for the smoothie setting that's on here. <laughs> Okay, well, the ti it timed out, but I didn't think it was cold enough and I can kind of tell. So I went and got a glass of ice, or a cup of ice, and um, of course the, the hole on the top of this is a little smaller than the Vitamix hole. You can kind of see the difference there. There's the Vitamix hole versus the, versus the Blendtec. Um, so, you know, that's a real small difference. And I'm kind of liking the new Blendtec. I'm getting used to it. I had a Blendtec before, um, maybe about three or four years ago, and the technology, of course, as you can imagine, has really changed. So much has changed. It's very interesting to see how um, all of this has progressed with the digitizing and um, not so much Bluetooth. I mean, that was kind of a, a phase for a while, but I didn't, I didn't see that so much on the surface anymore. All right, so let's see how this this tastes. Um, you know, sometimes simpler is easier. Mm. Yeah, it's really, really good. You know, sometimes these taste a little bitter, but I think with the second banana and the blueberries, it's um, it's really good. So that is my journey from the dark side of psoriatic arthritis. Um, Dr. Goldner said, Ellen, you gotta stop Googling. You gotta stop researching because Here's the thing, the, the testimonials, the stories that you see on the Psoriatic Arthritis Association website and everything else that's out there are people who've never been on a vegan diet, never tried a vegan diet as, as a way to cure themselves. And as a result, the stories are horrific. Um, you know, the things I read were just terrible, that not only the suicides, but you couldn't get out of bed in the morning without first taking your medicine to keep your medicine on your nightstand so you could get out of bed in the morning. I just did two races um, two weekends ago, one on a Saturday, one on a Sunday. One of them was one I sponsored, it was a vegan race, and got third in my age group in that, and, and we had hundreds of people in the race. So, I have my life back, and you can too, if you're going through something like this. I mean, obviously I'm not a doctor, but you should check in with Dr. Goldner if you have some kind of autoimmune disease and see what can happen for you, because it is pretty darn amazing. All right, everybody, drink up, gotta run.